going to run through a video on how do we integrate Postgres with Node.js that's running on Express.js. So if you watch the first part of the video, it means we have already set up a basic Node.js application with Express. And if you have watched the second part of the video, it means you guys have already set up a sample DB database inside Postgres. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure Postgres is up and running. So once it's up and running, you, you will want to head into the Node Express app folder which we have created and head into the rocks folder. Inside there will be index.js. So let's open it up. So as you can see, my index.js is slightly different as I've already made the necessary changes. So the first thing you need to do is to include the Postgres node module that, uh, that we have done so in part 2 of the video. If you have not, you can simply use type just type npm install, npm install pg, and you install this node module into your node app. And the second thing we need to do is to include a connection string so that you will be able to connect to the sample db database. So the first, the first method we're going to do is to create a post method. So what this does is it will add a add add a new data into the Postgres database. So, uh, so once this is done, we can just run the run the run the Node, Node Express app and, and try it out. Okay, so we are going to use a simple curl curl method to post the data into the sample DB database. So you can see on on the on the on the terminal or command prompt, you will see that the post method is successful. And you and if you so the next thing we're gonna do is to set up a simple get method. So this right here is a simple get method that retrieves all the data inside your sample DB, and you can test this out in your local host. So you go to local host, type local host three thousand slash api slash sample db you can see that this is the data that we have post in earlier on so the next thing we need to do is to try to update this data so the next method here is the put method which is the updating of the data based on the data id which in our case is one so in for this we have to use a curl method again so let's try to change change the data from to change to a complete from false to become true. So let's head to our terminal or command prompt. Enter it and as you can see the put is being done successfully. So let's now go back to our local host and see what's the data being returned. So as you can see the data has been changed from false to true. So the next thing we need to do is to of course have the delete function. So the last thing we write here is the delete function. So this right here will take in the data ID, in our case it will be 1, and then you will delete the data from the Postgres database. So for this we will be, we will be using the curl method once again. So let's go on to the input our method. As you can see on the on the terminal or command prompt if you are using Windows, the delete mod, delete method will be caught and the data will be deleted. So let's if we now return to our local host, we can see that the data that we have posted earlier on has been deleted. So this is how you create a simple CRUD method on Node with Express using Postgres as your database. So in the in our few, in one of the next video that I will do, I will teach you guys how to use Postman in Postman to to call post put get or delete instead of using the curl. And that's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it.